Captain Fultz. Hey, man. See how you be here. And when you came, and we began to pray and, and pray, pray the, uh, the, the prayer of deliverance for him. Yes. Yes. Now God is setting free. Just praise the Lord. You lift your hands and lift your hands. You say, I just don't like it. 
Come on here. Seriously? So now, you told the folks how they need to worship. Uh oh. Yep. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Come on. So, if I'm not speaking in tongues, I'm not saved. Mm. Really? Mm. Uh, if I'm not, uh, if I'm not uh, uh, shouting as hard as you're shouting, mm. I'm not saved. Mm. All right. Preach, preach. Preach. You better stop running around this church. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, God cannot move in your life in a different way he moves in mine. Mm. Yeah, I'm telling Amen. you. You got too much clutter. Too much clutter. Really? There's too much stuff in your closet. Yeah. Uh huh. And then you're not looking at yourself. Oh. Let's do a serious examination of, how, of ourselves. Oh. I mean, how many, how many of you are willing to admit that I need help? Oh, okay. Listen, I'm an apostle. Yes. And I need your prayers. Don't stop praying for me. Yes. Yes. I'm not perfect. Amen. I have some times I, I find myself saying, oh God, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. I should have thought that. Yeah. I should have yeah. said that. Yeah. I find myself sometimes saying, Lord, do I need to go back and do everything all over again? <laughs> he yeah. said, no, you see, that's forgiveness. Uh, yes. You'll be all right. <laughs> How many of you think you're above asking for forgiveness? Mm. No. How many of you think you don't need forgiveness? Oh. That you need somebody else? I know I need somebody else. Yes. I don't want to think I can do this on my own. Right, that's right. And because I, you think you can do it on your own, you have clutter in your closet. Yeah. Now God can't use you like He wants to use you. Right. You have no power in your hands. Your heart is not clean. You're holding grievance against somebody else. Fasting? Seriously? Paul says that we have too many unresolved conflicts. For what I am doing, I do not understand. But why I'm not practicing what I would like to do. Mm. But what I am doing, I'm doing the very thing I hate to do. Hate to do. Yes. 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 That means I don't always go around shouting hallelujah to That's everybody. right. That's right. Sometimes I want to say, you know, would you please sit down? Uh, wait, uh, uh, you know what I need you to do right now more than anything else I love you I want you to understand this I need you to find yourself a place and sit down and be quiet yeah. Jesus. hey I've done that and I see them roll their eyes and they go sit down they said why are you coming here <laughs> because sometimes we talk too much yes. Yes. and sometimes that talk is not edifying yes. 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 Amen. we gotta learn how to be quiet and keep our place the Bible said you need to learn how to keep your feet in the house of God. Sometimes we don't know how to keep our feet. Sometimes our minds are all over the place in the house of God. Sometimes we have issues with one another and we don't know how to work it out because we're too proud to work it out. Listen, if there's ever a time where you know you need to seek forgiveness and you have not done it, you got too much clutter in your closet. Because of your position, you can't seek forgiveness. You got too much clutter. Yes. You can't get along with your neighbor. <clears throat> you don't know your neighbor's name. Do you know your neighbor? Do you know your neighbor? My neighbor goes, Hey, Pastor. How you doing, Pastor? Because they know who I am. But he came to me and said, Man, you are sharp. He said, man, you are sharp. He said, what do you do for a living? I said, I'm a pastor. He said, oh, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> told him, I said, do you know the Lord? Oh, I go to church. <laughs> yes, sir. This is not Jeopardy. <laughs> do they know who you are? Are you too proud to tell people who you are? Don't buy the t-shirt, please. Please don't put the t-shirt on. Amen. Oh, amen. Amen. I'm saved. I know I'm saved. Mm. Check the back. Been saved for a long time. Long time. <laughs> We're not going to see eye to eye on everything we do in the house of God. That's right. Let me put you at ease. And you will not get along with everybody in the house of God. Not going to happen. 
But here's what we can do. Yes, sir. We can come in here and put aside our differences. Yes, sir. And realize that God put us here for a reason. Yes, it's a whole lot bigger than us. Yes. It, has, it has nothing to do with us. You're not here for yourself. No. You're here for somebody else. Yep. There's somebody in here that needs you to be here. Yes. They need your faithfulness. Yes. In attendance. They need your faithfulness in giving because somebody's always watching. Do you know where, where Jesus was <clears throat> when that woman gave everything she had into the treasury? Mm -hmm. He was sitting right by mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the offering plate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now let me ask you this. When you walk up to the offering plate, do you realize he's watching what you put in there? Yes. That's right. Can you put it there and say, hey Jesus, what's up? <laughs> and walk away. Or do, are you going? Look over there. <laughs> 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 Which one are you doing? <laughs> Preach, Apostle. Preach. <laughs> Can you give what you give in the way that God is glorified? All right, all right. Because if you can't, then you got too much clutter. You got too much pride. You think you're somebody that you're not. Yeah. yeah. But the Bible says you know how to humble yourself. There you go, sir. Under the mighty hand of God. Yeah. yeah. That He will exalt you. Yes. In due time. So how much clutter do you have? Paul, the word of God said, Paul had issues with, with John Mark. <coughs> but they're on their way to Pamphylia. And Barnabas yeah. wanted, wanted Paul and, and, and go with uh, John Mark to go with Paul. And Paul said, I don't want him to go with me. He's too young. He's done things I didn't want him to do. He's been disobedient. Yeah. So Barnabas took John Mark with him. Paul had issues with John Mark. Some of us have issues with one another. But check this out. Later on, when they go to another mission, Paul sat down with John Mark and got it right. Is there anyone here you have not got things to write with? Amen. Can you look in somebody's eyes and tell them I love you with the love of the Lord? I have nothing against you. Amen. Some of us can't do that. That's right, sir. Because we allow pride to enter in. Mm -hmm. Folks have left the church because some of us have too much pride yes. to be humble. Yes. So instead of bringing people to the church, we're driving them out. Because we made it about us. Yes, yes. We act like we're so holy. <laughs> but oh, if I could follow some of us around for about 72 hours. Yes. My, my, my. Right. If there was a built in alarm that every time you did something, you had the business joint, and we go, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> some of us would, would walk out of our house and go, we go, Bob, 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 Bob. <laughs> Now, because we got so much mess, we're caught up in that we don't want to do it. Yes, yes. Too much blood. And Walmart, Bob. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Traffic light, <like>, Bob, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> so, doing things we have a business doing. Yes. <clears throat> now, here's what I want to do. Yeah, I only get one chance at this. Mm. I want to live holy. Yeah. I want to be real. Yeah. Real. I want to be transparent. I told my folks that I, I'm not going to hide anything from you. I trust you. So I'm going to be open and honest before you. Now sometimes I struggle. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I have some doubt that creeps in. Mm -hmm. that I have to fight it hard. Yes. 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 Not because I'm an apostle does not mean I don't have these issues. So I need you to always lift me up in your prayers. Yes. Yes. And don't ever think that I've got it made, that everything is going well with me every day. Sometimes I really need you to listen to the Spirit of God when He says, pray for your pastor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because if you're a child of God, sometimes the Spirit of God will tell you, yes. stop, take a minute and pray for your pastor. Yes. I want to be real. I don't want to be a phone I, I, I really love myself from Jesus. My mind is made up, as old folks used to say. My heart's fixed. 
So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not concerned about trying to mess that up. But sometimes I have a hard time holding on to what I believe. Sometimes I don't know what to say. Sometimes I go in my in my, my little prayer room and I, mm -hmm. I sit there and I cry, oh God, why do I feel like I feel? Yep. 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 Why am I going through what I'm going through? You? Lord help me, I need strength right now. Sometimes I, I tell my wife, baby, I just need a few minutes by myself. I hear you. I love you, but for the next half hour, don't bother me. Just give me some time. Yep. I have nothing against you. I just, I just need to go somewhere. I, I need to holler out. Oh, Father, I need you like I've never to you. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. cross street on me. And I believe when I do that, that if I'm open and honest and secret, then when I come out. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is glorified. Hallelujah. Listen, CRCL, for this place to go anywhere, Somebody's got to make sure that this man, this woman, never go without prayer. Amen. Wait a minute. Here's the power part of it. That when the church be out of that, that what would happen, so I'm going to say, Pastor, you know what? I'll pray today. You sit down. Amen. I got it today. Yes. And he'll know that person has a heart for what God is trying to do here. Yes. But I won't relinquish my position unless I know I can trust you to do the right thing. Yes. Yes. You don't come and tell me, uh uh. I tell the people, God, you can't even drive me around the corner if you don't tithe. All right, sir. Because you're being disobedient. You can't take me to Walmart or anywhere else if you're not tithing. That's right. Because the word of God said you're cursed with a curse. Cursed with a curse. And today may be the day you get that curse. I'm not going to I don't want to be with <laughs> So, So, when you talk about. Apostle, you need a ride. First I say, I'm not tired. Exactly. <laughs> no, Apostle, I'm not tired. So you know what? I'll catch the next one. Go ahead. I'll catch the next one. You go on. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not riding with you. No, I'm not tired. I'm not getting there with you. And the word of God says, you're cursed with the curse. So here I am, a child of God, riding with somebody who's cursed. Seriously? You're not taking me anywhere. It's not gonna happen. In fact, I'm not even gonna invite you over my house. Because when, it, when God comes to get you, He may take my house with you. <laughs> I need a place to stay. <laughs> they don't like that. And there should be no reason in the world why every sin of God is not tied. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're right. You don't be ashamed yourself of being so stingy. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here's a principle that God has laid down for us. That if everybody, from the smallest to the biggest, is tithing in the body of Christ, the church will never have what, anything it lacks. Jesus. Bless your name, Christ. So if you're not a tither, you got some junk in your closet. Yeah. You need to get it out of there. Yeah. And then, please let me know if you're not a tither so we don't walk too close together, praise the <laughs> Lord. Because <laughs> when I like the little cow, they're going to spit out. I'm I don't get caught up with you. That's right. I have too much work to do. <laughs> and Spirit of God tells me I struck you too because you were so close to him. <laughs> Baby, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> So listen, you need to get some like junk out of your closet. Here's how you do that. You would be open and honest. Repent to one another. There you go. Tell them to be open and honest toward one another. Don't hold back. When you're struggling with something, tell it like it is. Don't try to fix it up and dress it up. Don't try to cosmetic it. Tell it like it is. Listen, last night I, 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 my wife and I had a terrible fight and we haven't gotten over it yet. So we both need prayer. That's being real. Because that's what the church is for. Yes. And then a man and woman God's supposed to ride up and say, well, somebody just pray for them. Yes. Let's lift them up in the name of Jesus. That when you and, I, uh, you and I have not learned how to be open and honest, we got too much clutter. Yes. We got too much junk going on. 
And this is supposed to be a different church here. This is supposed to be a church that stands out. Not like every other church you go to. It's supposed to be a church that says, Jesus is real in this place. We're not caught up on tradition. You receive no bulletin when you walk through the door. We don't play that game in Detroit either. You tell me you walk through the door. You don't get a bulletin here. You came to worship Jesus? Then listen to this. We don't know what he's going to do for the next hour and a half or two hours. Lord, so have your way. since you're here, you don't know either. Yes. Amen. And we hope if you're not right that God will knock you down. Yeah. Cause you to repent. Yeah. Have you speak it in tongues? All right. Before you leave here, brother. All right. Right. Preach, boss. Yes. And then somebody walks in with, with crutches. I told them, you know what? I believe in God that those crutches should not be with you when you leave here. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But what's holding back all that from happening? Uh -huh. Too many of us come in with too, too much, much clutter. clutter. Yes, sir. You think you're somebody. Mm. You got some little issues that you're dealing with, so you think your issues are so big. Mm. God, God. That you don't know how to pray and believe God. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh, you serious? We got to get rid of the clutter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, yes. we got to get rid of the clutter. Yes, yes, yes. We got to stop pretending that we've got it all together. All we got to do is have church. Yes, yes, yes. We got to learn how to pray and seek God sincerely. Yes. Listen, the word of God said, prayer will make a person stop sinning. But sinning will make a person stop praying. Prayer will make a person stop sinning. But sinning will make you stop praying. I don't know about anybody else, but I don't ever want to stop praying. Listen, I've seen God do too many things. I've seen folks heal and delivered. Yep. Set free. Yeah. I saw a young lady. I'm going to sit down. I saw a young lady. Take that came in. It was in our fellowship that had a stroke. All right. And her face right. was twisted to one side. All right. All right. And she was talking like on the side of her mouth. And one night we had testimony service. She began to testify. Because she went back and got it right. She began to testify how good God was and she, how she was thankful that she was not dead. Yeah. And while she was while she was testifying, the Spirit of God turned around yeah, and looked at her. Yeah, yeah. And as we turned to look at her, we witnessed God taking her mouth from here all the way back and straightening yeah. out. Like yeah, 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 yeah. God is good. That's supposed to happen every time we yeah. come together and we remove the clutter. We should witness miracles because he's a miracle working God. Yes, he is. Amen. Yes, he is. Amen. One of my one of my mentors, the person I I went and sought to get my, my 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 degree in theology from, Tony Evans was talking about. All right. He has this love for the Lord, but he also has this fear that he's, that he's been fighting for years. Mm -hmm. And his fear is he has a fear of elevators. Amen. I won't bother that. And then uh, he got on this elevator. <coughs> and it was going up. And in the middle of where it was going, the elevator got stuck. stuck. Yeah. All his fear began to rise because he's trying to wonder why the elevator won't move. And people trying to call their cell phones and they won't work. And so they're thinking, people began to panic and began to scream. But Tony, while, while, while watching all this going on, he said, Lord, why is this happening? And Spirit of God said, Tony. There's a red box over there by the door. <laughs> and Tony said, yeah, Lord. He said, go open the red box. He went and opened the red box, and there's a phone in there. The Spirit of God said, grab the phone. Grab Tony. the phone, yeah. Tony grabbed the phone, and somebody said, hello. <laughs> and Tony said, uh, we're on the elevator, and it's stuck. And the guy said, we'll be right there. We'll take care of it. Yes, sir. And the next thing, the next 30 minutes, 30 seconds, the elevator began to shake and it moved. Huh. We're back in operation. Yeah. You see, here's what's happening among the people of God today. <coughs> A lot of us are stuck on elevators. All right. 